If you own a OnePlus 3 or 3T and you're looking for a ROM with a pixel-like experience and with some extra customization options, then folks, you're watching the right video. Today I'm going to review a custom ROM known as Cypher OS for OnePlus 3 or 3T and in the second half of this video, I will also show you a step-by-step -step guide to install this ROM. This ROM will give you the closest experience like Pixel devices and this is an official ROM so you don't have to worry about the updates. So now with that being said, let's start. So let's start with the performance. Now I'm using Cypher OS since 3 days and the OS feels quite stable with my daily day to day usage. It is running on the latest version of Android that is Android Nougat 7.1.2 and the security patch is of 5th May 2017. The Cypher OS version is 3.6.3 .3, which is again the latest stable build of this OS. Recently OnePlus is also trying to make their Oxygen OS like Pixel by adding some Pixel exclusive features like Pixel Launcher and App Shortcut feature. But that version of Oxygen OS is still in beta since last month. If you're interested then you can watch my video on that. I will leave the video link in the description box. But in Cypher OS you will get all the pixel features including this cool new navigation bar with this cute little animation. Except that the network reception is also good and for those who are wondering that Volti is working or not, then yeah, it's working properly and I'm using my Reliance Geo SIM currently on this OS. Moving forward to its battery performance which is a major concern of every user and I think the battery performance of Cypher OS is quite similar to the current stable Oxygen OS version 4.1.3. I'm getting between 5 to 6 hours of screen on time with a moderate usage and I think it's quite decent to get my OnePlus 3T running throughout the day. Now if you are thinking that how about the dash charging, is it working or not, then you will be glad to know that it is working just fine. So now let's talk about some of the features that you are going to get in Cypher OS and let's start with the features that I like the most. If you go through the setting menu then you will find an option which says additions. This is basically a place where you will find different customization options. The first one in the list is called system. Here you can set your screenshot type, add advanced option to power menu and you can also enable one handed mode which can be triggered by just swiping left over the navigation bar. Second one is the status bar and as the name suggests, from here you can tweak different aspects of your status bar like add or remove icons, show notification counts and many more. Next up is the quick setting and this one is my favorite because here you will find these styles option by enabling which you can trigger battery saver mode with just one click. Additionally you can also enable Wi-Fi data and Bluetooth with just one click and I use these options more often. The last one is the button option by using which you can enable or disable the on-screen navigation buttons according to your preference. And you also have the ability to set different action for different keys. Except these, we also have some ported features directly from Oxygen OS which can be found in the setting menu. And from here you can enable off-screen gestures for camera, torch and music. So all in all, we have lots of customization options through which we can customize our devices even further. Additionally, this ROM is also fully compatible with Substratum Theme Engine which was previously known as Layers. It is just like Cyanogen Mod Theme Engine using which you can change the overall look and feel of your device. There are lots of Substratum themes available on Play Store from which you can choose from. If you want to know how you can install Substratum Theme Engine then I had made a separate video on that and I will leave a link for that in the description box so do check out. Now guys if you are thinking that how the camera app of this ROM is working then sadly I haven't tested it too much but the camera app has the ability to take some decent pictures. So guys these are some of the features of Cypher OS and as I mentioned at the beginning of this video that I'm going to show you a full tutorial to install Cypher OS on your OnePlus 3 or 3T and all the download links will be in the description box. So now with that being said, let's start the process. The prerequisites are, first your bootloader should be unlocked. Second, you should have pre-installed TWRP recovery. Now if you don't have an unlocked bootloader and pre-installed TWRP recovery then don't worry, I had already made a video on that so just pause this video and click on the card that pops up at the top right corner or you can also find the link of that video in the description box. So first watch that video and follow the steps then head over to this video. Now once you have successfully installed the TWRP recovery, head over to your PC and download Cypher OS ROM zip file and the GApps package and put it in the internal memory of your device. 
After that, switch off your device. Now press and hold volume down plus power key at the same time until you see this OnePlus logo. This will basically boot your device in TWRP recovery. Now the very first thing that you have to do is to make a backup of your current ROM. In case you have ended with a boot loop, then you can easily restore your previous ROM. Once that is done, go back and click on wipe and swipe this blue button to right in order to wipe the system partition and make your device ready for ROM installation. Now after all the stuff is done, go back and click on install and navigate the ROM zip file that we downloaded earlier and select it. After that click on add more zip and select the gapps package. Now swipe this blue button to right in order to flash both the zip files. The flashing will take around 5 to 10 minutes. So once the flashing is done, reboot your device. And after rebooting is finished, the Cypher OS will be installed. So just set up your device and enjoy the pixel experience of Cypher OS on your OnePlus 3 or 3T. So guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you do, then do consider subscribing to my channel for more future videos like this. And don't forget to press that bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So this is Samir signing off and I will see you guys in my next one.